There was jello in the fingerprints, Detective Dolight discovered. This proved to be the most important finding in the case. And whereas Detectives Slocks and Slavitz slobbered over smutty photographs, Look at the size of those. Dolight had a better lead to follow. He followed the ringing to the telephone, where a voice asked, Excuse me, are you so-and-so? Oh, so-and-so since you left, I have been eating only sweets, cause they remind me of you. He felt this surely was a clue. So he climbed into the tub, wearing his underwear and overcoat, jumped aboard the model boat, and followed the water down the drain. In his brain, there are file cabinets and secretaries filing their nails downstairs. But I don't want to talk about that room downstairs. At this moment, Detective Slocks and Slavitz realize that since they had reported on the crime scene this morning, each of them has aged over 50 years. Two butterflies land on their shoulders and harmonize softly in their ears. They held hands in the moonlight. The butterflies flew away, which prompted Slavitz to say, It's queer, but I miss them already. Then Slocks removed a fountain pen from his breast pocket, drove it deeply into Slavitz's throat, and began screeching, Death to the parchment well! The robot Ian Lassell! While in prison, Slocks wrote one of the most revered exercises in free verse titled, the cause of gauze. Oh, the cause of gauze. The manuels have fondled many memories from my lap, though each memory has its own lap. And swimmers swim laps. Even swimmers have laps, however. And while in that condition, many require a delicate gauze. I desire only this in my decrepitude that I will have one more opportunity to serve as a gauze for my fellow man, and that in that state of gauze can somehow disturb the world less often with my prickly fingers. When Detective Dolight, returning from the catacombs, first heard the news of the Slocks and Slavitz stabbing and subsequent poetry enterprise, he immediately fell to the floor and began plucking peaches from his cheeks. <coughs> This eventually became a tiresome activity, so he evaporated into the cream afloat a child's bedtime cocoa.